So this right here is uh, Butterbur. Uh, perhaps we think giant Butterbur, um, although the leaves may be four feet long, it can really be much longer than that. A uh, scientific name, Petastus haponicus. Uh, a lot of cup common names, Butterbur, giant Butterbur, sweet cold foot. Um, it, again, a variety of different things, swamp uh, rhubarb, um, Japanese rhubarb, all of this. As you can tell, it has been used medicinally for a lot of different things. Um, they do prepare it in a very special way. Um, not something that's easy to do. They actually, uh, but they do do it, and it is considered uh, a, a delicacy in some places. Uh, it, it, the shoots are also eaten. You can see how big it is. Because it's such a big, huge leaf, again, could have to four feet long if it is giant putter these things can actually, uh, is considered an invasive. It's already listed on invasive in Michigan and, and uh, Vermont. This is only the fourth place that's been found in Virginia. Um, and we've already collected uh, eight, eight different samples of it. A couple of them will go to our own Arlington Herbarium, and some will go to the University of Richmond uh, for their herbarium as well, uh, as a note that it's been found in this area. So it's been entered into, uh, so people know that it's been found in our different, in our different areas. Anyways, a neat, neat plant, um, but unfortunately this big ground cover is an invasive in our area. Uh, it's been used as a vegetable in a variety of different ways. It is toxic though. Um, it's got some kind of alkaloids in it. That toxicity can, uh, can affect people if it's not prepared right. Just something to do it. Not two, only two things have been have that it supports to, but I do see leaf liners here. Uh, the two things, a, a, a checker spot butterfly and a leaf beetle, have actually been studied to see if there's a way to control this in other places, but so far those, are, those tests have been inconclusive. So giant butterbur, a neat little plant that uh, unfortunately um, is a ground cover and is invasive, and this will be reported and removed, hopefully, from Arlington County at some point. Giant butterbur.